Hi, so if you regularly attend the gym or you go running, swimming, into bodybuilding, anything like that, you might have come across pre-workout supplements and how they're meant to be good for improving your performance and increasing muscle strength. But if you look at the front of the packaging, they're packed full of loads of different buzzwords and promises. So things like explosive, continued focus, anti-fatigue formula, pump formula, enhanced strength and performance, scary focus, apocalyptic, not for novices, explosive, so the list goes on and on and on. There's loads of them. But what exactly are they? And are these promises true? Or are they just another supplement designed to make money off you? So, pre-workouts are primarily designed to make you more focused and alert. And because of this, they contain very high levels of stimulants, such as caffeine, as well as a few other ingredients like creatine and amino acids, depending on which brand you get. So it's these stimulants which cause you to feel alert and ready to work out after drinking it. And what is often not noticed is just how much caffeine and stimulants they can contain. So I had a quick look at some of the brands and they're averaging about three or four hundred milligrams per serving, which is about four and a half cans of Red Bull. And there was a couple of brands I looked at which advertised of having 800 milligrams of stimulants. So that is about 10.3 cans of Red Bull, which is quite dangerous. In fact, it could be extremely dangerous. So some people have heart conditions and some people have undiagnosed heart conditions. And if they're taking these product, these pre-workout products and not knowing that they've got a heart condition, that could be very, very dangerous considering the effects these stimulants have on your heart rate. So if you continue to look through the different brands, there's some of them which contain substances called DMHA or octogen as it's commonly known. Now this has a very similar structure to a banned substance called DMAA and that is on the World Anti-Doping Agency's ban list for competition as it's been linked to numerous deaths as well. It's also been banned in Australia due to the risks to human health which is quite scary. So although DMHA is not listed on the World Anti-Doping Agency's ban list, due to its structure if you're taking it, there's a very good chance it could be picked up on in a doping test if your sport uh, requires that. And I also think it's only a matter of time before it gets banned in this country and it also appears on the uh, banned list. So with some of the in other ingredients, um, they are known to have slight performance benefits, so maybe a 1% boost. However, to the average person, if you're just going to the gym and taking these pre-workout supplements, if the rest of your diet is not set out properly, taking these is not really going to make any difference at all. So make sure your focus is on the things that are actually going to make big differences. So the rest of your diet, hydration, sleep patterns, all these kind of things which could give you the 99% boost, which is much more important than, that, than going for that 1% that a pre-workout will give you. So because the main focus of these pre-workout products is on stimulants, particularly caffeine, you'd be far better, cheaper and safer having a cup of coffee before your workout. Cheers! So if you found that useful please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be kept up to date with all the new videos that I post. Thank you!